Hello again, this is the Pencrest High School AP Physics C video series. This is video 5F, Ramps and Rolling. So the AP uh, exam is uh, fond of objects rolling down ramps. So we have uh, an object here that starts from rest at the top of a ramp, uh, inclined at elevation angle theta. Uh, we're familiar with the situation here. Uh, instead of sliding down the ramp, uh, the ball rolls down the ramp without slipping. Um, so the ball has some mass m and radius r. Um, when we consider the um, free body diagram, uh, we're familiar with uh, mg acting straight down, fn is perpendicular to the ramp and outward, and then of course ff is going to resist the ball sliding down the ramp. Remember that this FF is uh, static friction. It is not necessarily equal to mu times FN. It's probably going to be less. We're familiar with um, <clears throat> resolving MG into components. Uh, MG sine theta or F parallel pulling down the ramp. MG cosine theta pushing into the ramp. If we consider the force equation for the for the direction of motion, uh, mg sine theta points down the ramp, ff is up the ramp, and then sigma f equals ma, nothing new there. mg sine theta acts from the center of mass, so it exerts no torque. Therefore, the torque equation is f sub f uh, times r equals i times alpha. We know how to combine the equations here, put in the expression for I, put in A over R for alpha, and combine them as we have before. Um, again, it's notable that the magnitude of the friction force is not necessarily equal to mu times Fn. Um, this is a static friction force, so could be conceivably less. <clears throat> we could also approach this uh, from an energy perspective. Um, the ball has uh, gravitational potential energy uh, associated with its uh, position at the top of the ramp, uh, associated with MGH, we're familiar with that. When it rolls to the bottom, uh, when it gets to the bottom of the ramp, it's going to have both a linear kinetic energy term and a rotational kinetic energy term. <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do here, of course, is um, realize that the linear and angular velocities are related through uh, V equals omega times R. Uh, we can replace omega squared with uh, V squared over R squared and we can replace I with the appropriate um, formula from the table. Again, this is going to be a uniform, <clears throat> uniform and homogeneous shape, whether it's a disc or a ball or a hoop or whatever. Okay. Uh, note also as a, a consequence of that static friction force, there's no relative motion between the contact point and the surface, so therefore this uh, friction force that exerts torque actually doesn't do any work. So it does not remove any energy from the system on the way down. Okay, so that's it. That's a short one, and that'll wrap it up for uh, our rotation video series. Next up is... Uh, oscillations. Until then, enjoy and I'll see you again soon.